everyone and welcome to my April favorites. This is my first favorites video and I'm pretty excited to make it. I've tried filming them before. They always kind of ended up being a fail so I'm excited that I finally get to do this and I'm excited as well because it's finally summer and I have time to do stuff like this which is awesome because I actually have been really enjoying making these videos so and I hope you all have been too enjoying them. That is. I'm gonna hop right into this because I guess April was a big month for me because I have a lot of favorites. I started really using products that I had in my collection and hadn't really used much and I wanted to kind of try going for a more no makeup makeup kind of look. Obviously I don't have that on today but that's kind of what I've been doing for an everyday sort of thing. Wake up, do a fresh face because it's been so hot outside lately so that's what I've been kind of up to lately in the makeup world, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my air conditioner off. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my facial care products because I kind of want to go in an order here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this Makeup Breakup Cooling Cleansing Oil from Bashia. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But I got it in a kit with another little guy I'm going to show you. And absolutely everything in this kit I loved. It had, I was going to put in here, but I thought I had too many, so I'll save that for another day. But it came with this, and it also came with this little guy, which is a super cool deep puffing eye balm. And it feels incredible. All of these products have a very cooling sensation to the skin. Very good for waking up and kind of getting rid of redness and irritation. It feels really lovely on the skin and this oil is incredible. I, a lot of oils are a little too greasy but this one is smooth and feels like you're just applying, how can I even explain it, like silk over your face. It feels incredible. It's very easy to take off. It gets rid of everything, it waterproof makeup, everything that um, is on your face. It just kind of dissolves it and then it apparently it dissolves impurities as well and decongests pores without leaving an oily residue and you can do it on dry skin and it has a cushiony effect that's what it says on the bottle and I agree it has a very cushiony effect so anyway moving on if you need a good makeup remover I highly suggest this one I think this is incredible it feels amazing on the skin especially for summer and especially if you're in hot weather and like I said, this little guy is a little balm. It comes in a little screw, and it, um, it's literally just like a balm for underneath the eyes. I apply it before I apply I usually use this in the morning because it kind of gets rid of the puffiness under my eyes. It brightens them up, and it feels really nice as well. Sometimes I'll just apply this for the heck of it because it feels good. So I highly recommend. I got these products at Sephora. And like I said, it came in a kit. It was a great value, I think. Um, you saved like $30 buying them as a packet, or as a unit, as a three. Hmm. Anyway, I'll put links below, don't worry. Moving on to my next favorite facial product of, of the month is this Tarte Eye, it's a Marjukuja Sea Brightener Eye Treatment. And this is so smooth, it's a vitamin C treatment for under the eyes and it brightens, it corrects, it feels incredible. It's a very, it's thick but it's not too thick. It has a really nice smooth silky texture to it and I love softness. I have my whole life so anything that I can put under my eyes or on my skin that's going to be soft I'm going to love. And it comes in cute packaging. I've already used up so much of it as you can see and um, I never thought Tarte would have a good eye cream, but they do. I absolutely love it. I use it every day. Every, every day. And moving on to my favorite primer. I, I'm kind of on and off about primers and the theory of how they should work. And this... I can't even explain to you how incredible this is. My... It's, it's, this is called That Gal. It's a brightening face primer from Benefit and it has cute packaging, it's a twist, and it's a pink sort of cream finish. And if you put it on, you can kind of feel it has kind of a tackiness to it, but I don't want to say tacky. 
and make that a scary sound. It's, it feels like it's creating a very nice moisturizing base that's going to hold your makeup on. And you can't really un probably understand what I'm trying to say until you actually feel the texture of this, but I love it. I think it feels great on my face. It really does give your face kind of that oomph of brightness underneath your powder or foundation, whatever you want to use. But I found that this holds on to my makeup incredibly well. I mean, we're talking all day long well. So that's that gal. In the trend of benefit, I got this a while back and it's how to look the best at everything in medium. It's a flawless complexion makeup kit. So the thing out of here I've been loving the most has been the powder. It is so finely milled and gives such a beautiful natural non-cakey finish that it has been right up my alley because I hate having that cakey kind of look. And it keeps your skin looking fresh and nice. It has such a smooth texture to it, which kind of goes along with the trend of what I've been talking about so far. And it just gives a really wonderful coverage. So if you're looking for a good face powder, I'm going to highly recommend this one. This just came in the kit. You can get them individually. I like this because I got to try a little bit of everything, and I realized that I love everything in it. So if you want to go to your local Sephora, I'm sure they have these. I think Ulta might have them too. I'm not sure, but I got this at Sephora. Now, I have seborrheic dermatitis, please excuse me if I said that wrong, and I've talked about it a couple times in my videos, but oh, that scared me. Recently, I've had a lot of redness because of stress, and my um, derma seborrheic dermatitis has been coming out a lot more, and I also have very sensitive skin. I mean, I can touch my skin and there'll be a red streak wherever I touch it. That's just how my skin is though. So I have, you know, been loving my green concealer. As you can see, I've hit pan on it. And this is the Physicians Formula Duo. And um, this is a great concealer. It's very hydrating, it, hydrating and doesn't crease or crack or whatever concealer can do sometimes. And it just has a very creamy texture and it blends into the skin very well. You can cover it up easily. It doesn't leave any green kind of cast on your face and it literally just neutralizes the red perfectly. So I actually recommended this for my mom and she went out and bought it and she loved it too. So everyone loves this. My next face product that I have been obsessed with, especially for the spring and summer seasons, is Coralista by Benefit. This is just, this is the best blush I own. I mean, it it's up there competing with Tarte my Tarte blushes, but it comes in this really cute box and it's just a very shimmery pinky coral color and it also smells good which is kind of interesting, it's kind of florally, but um, the packaging's cute, the coloring is absolutely beautiful, it makes my cheeks look very natural and just flushed and I love that especially for spring and summer seasons, so I've been obsessed with coral on my lips, on my cheeks. On my eyes, I did a really nice coral eye yesterday, which was really fun. I might do a tutorial on it. I don't know yet. You let me know what you want to see in the comments below. Speaking of which, I love getting comments from you guys. And on the discussion board, I got a couple comments from some girls asking me to do some videos. Leave requests whenever you want. I write them down. I look at them. I read every comment you guys write. And I'm going to try to respond to most of them. But I really do appreciate the feedback and the conversation going on on my videos. I think it's really nice and makes me happy, so. I don't know what it's been about my skin lately, but I have been loving using powders. And one of my favorite brushes to kind of set my makeup and use with powders has been this very cute powder brush from Too Faced. And it has teddy bear hair, which is a synthetic hair, but it's incredibly soft and kind of feels like it's, um, not synthetic, but I absolutely love it. It's the softest brush I own and just puts powder on the face so beautifully and flawlessly that you honestly can't go wrong with this brush. I absolutely love it and it's adorable. It's cute. It's such a classic look and it's so fun to have in your collection. So if you want a really nice powder brush, I highly suggest this one. Oh, it's so soft. On the streak of brushes, I'm going to go ahead and rant about this incredible brush that I had in my collection but never really used because it came with a 
a kit or something but it is this brush from Lancome and it doesn't have a name on it I'll find out and put it in the description bar but it's a liquid or just any sort of liner angled brush at the top it's very dirty because I've been using it in my um, uh, uh, liner pots and then right here it's just an angled fluffy blending brush and this has been perfect for finding the perfect angle for my shadow and bringing depth into the outer third of my eye. I don't know if it will fit for other people but for me it has been amazing. You can also angle it to the side and bring things kind of blend up into this part of your crease so you're not pulling all the shadow in. So you have a lot of control with this brush and I absolutely love that it makes it so much easier to put my shadows on and I have I've used this every single day I, I love you my favorite concealer may the Lord shine down upon thee for those of you who've read who read my blog you know that I have been obsessed with this concealer. I have had so many issues with under eye concealers just creasing and fading and drying out under my eyes even when they say they're a hydrating concealer and they won't do that. This is the new Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS and this stuff guys is magical. It is creamy, it is so hydrating and it just completely conceals perfectly. Not multiple you know uses and it blends in beautifully I cannot tell you guys enough how incredible this concealer is so if you need a good concealer actually I don't even care if you need a good concealer you need to go out and try this like get a sample of it or something just experience the joys that this NARS product is so thank you NARS thank you I always saw girls talking about you know oh these are my eyelash well, really mascara combination and I love doing this one and this one and I've never really gotten into using multiple mascaras I'm like this better than false lashes is even why do I need anything else that makes no sense we will just keep coat coating my lashes and it'll all have the same effect well that was naive of me to say I know because I officially understand the joys of what mascara can truly be and how different they can all be which is awesome so I have been using the covergirl clump crusher at first I didn't like this one as much because I felt like it didn't give me enough oomph and I like a lot of oomph in my lashes but this stuff building it is incredible you literally comb through your lashes perfectly with this and so I have been doing the cover girl and then going in with my Too Faced lash extensions. This comes with another mascara but it always clumped. I, I never used this because I hated it. I thought it didn't work, it looked horrible, but I found that I just need to use a different mascara with the nylon fibers. And so I've been doing three coats of this, three coats of this, and then going in with the L'Oreal um, Shocking Extensions telescopic mascara this stuff is incredible I love this by itself just these two together but these two mascaras together have been incredible especially when added with a couple coats of the extensions you just get these beautiful long full declumped lashes that are gorgeous so if you want to try something fun I highly recommend this I've been loving it loving it I'm loving all of this that's why they're my favorites moving forward I got a NARS palette recently and it came with this NARS eye primer. I have been looking for so long for this primer and my Sephora hasn't had it in for months now and Miss Glamorazzi rants and raves and just loves this stuff so I said you know what her opinions are really legit so I want to try this. So I was so excited that I got to have a little sample of this with the palette that I got. And although it's hard for me to get the product out because there's not a lot in there, when I do get it out, literally it's Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Guys, your shadows stay all day. I remember the first time I used it, usually I have to touch up 
at like the 12 hour mark or whatever, or like 8 to 12, I wore this from morning till 2 a.m. and my shadows looked perfect. Like literally, I'm going to do a daily blog or vlog, whatever, with this to show you guys how incredible this stuff is. And it's awesome. I love it. I've been loving my Naked Urban Decay Basics palette. And I love the Naked palettes in general, but this guy right here is awesome. It's great to just throw in your bat, your travel bag or just if you don't want to think about putting on a specific eye, you got every eye you need for just a beautiful natural eye. You can smoke it out, you get um, six colors and five of them are matte and then you get Venus which is a very beautiful shimmering color for great for a highlight whatever you want to do you can create just a very natural look I love these two it's foxy and um, WOS and you can use those to really make a very neutral color over your eye and um, just create it's like accentuating what's already there on your eyes if you want to just do like a make them look more contrasted or whatever contrasty and then you can also always go in with these and create more of a smoky eye. So it's good for day and night if you just want to keep it simple but do something beautiful and elegant. I highly recommend this palette, especially for people that are just starting out with makeup. This is great. You have everything you need. You can do pretty much any look you want to do. This is incredible. Incredible. I'm saying that for everything because I love everything. But no, I'm going to take that back. Not everything I've said is incredible, but they're my favorites still. Love this guy actually used it in my last tutorial so if you guys want to check that out I'll link that down below and uh, it's a cat eye tutorial so you might like it and last but not least for my beauty favorites are the Victoria's Secret spring scent collection I got the little baby ones so I could try them all and see which one I like the most and I honestly I love all of them but I have been especially loving the Sweet and Flirty and the Sun Kissed because I love coconut recently. I've been on kind of like a coconut kick and um, this one has been really lovely. So if you want some really nice good scents that are good to easy to throw in your bag, I literally throw these in my bag every day and they're just light, yummy, and easy to put on on the beach or at school, whatever you want to do. So. If you need a good scent, I definitely recommend checking out the Victoria's Secret ones. The Spring Break Collection was also really yummy as well, but these are cute, especially you get to try all the little ones and pick which one you like the most. Most. I like them all. So good. So I'm gonna go. I've made this video so long. I hope you guys enjoyed my first favorites video, and I hope this was in focus and well lit, so... Have an amazing day, guys. I love you all. Mwah.